everybody welcome to my okami playthrough i decided to pick this game up after i finished snake pass to make because then it will make my saturdays themed to be like old game saturdays and i absolutely love this game so why not Long, long ago, a tiny helmet known as Kamiki lay nestled in a grove of proud and beautiful cherry blossoms. Each and every tree around the quiet burg was honored as a god. However, the village was not without its dark secrets. To satiate the appetite of Orochi, a fearsome cave-dwelling beast. A young maiden was offered as a sacrifice at the annual festival. With a body like a mountain and eight heads mounted on necks the size of tree trunks, its blood-red eyes alone were said to curse anyone who gazed into them. No one dared disobey the horrific beast. When the night of the sacrifice drew near, a mysterious white wolf appeared outside the village. This wolf, its coat as brilliant as snow, was dubbed Shiru Nui. The wolf kept a watchful eye on anyone who ventured outside the village and made a habit of patrolling the streets at night. People assumed the wolf to be a familiar of Orochi. One villager took it upon himself to face the fearsome Shiranui. The wolf, wor blah, blah, blah. the warrior Nagai, attempted many times to challenge the wolf, but his attempts were thwarted by Shiranui's swift movements. Before long, the night of the cursed festival had arrived. A white plumed arrow heralded the coming sacrifice. Piercing the sky, the arrow sunk its shaft squarely into the home of Nami, the village's most beautiful maiden. Nagi, harboring a secret love for Nami, was enraged by the sun. Determined to put an end to Orochi once and for all, Nagai traveled to the beast cave in place of his beloved. The Moon Cave, a place as dark as evil itself, served as Orochi's home as Nagai stood bravely before the entrance. A beast appeared, eyes glowing crimson, upon eight thrashing necks. Orochi stood tall before him, anxious for another sacrifice. Nagai leapt with incredible grace, swinging his blade violently. On and on he sliced, well into the moonless night. But Orochi's hide was like steel. The blade left nary a scratch. At long last, Nagai, his energy spit from the intense battle, dropped to his knees, fatigued and gasping for breath. He knew he was starting, staring death in the face. It was then that the wolf appeared. As if to protect Nagai, it stood its ground before Orochi. In the darkness of the cave, the wolf's coat shone brilliantly. Alas, it was Shiranui, the wolf that trailed outside the village. Bearing its fearsome claws, Shiranui leapt toward Orochi. Orochi reared its terrifying heads, readying its fangs for battle. The two beasts struggled wildly, thrashing in the darkness. Mysterious and terrifying, the spectacle continued. Shir Nui summoned a gust of divine wind to counter Orochi's flames. Okay. 
As the Roshi closed in on Shiranui, sharpened claws glistening. A gigantic tree suddenly sprouted forth, shooting the wolf. Shiranui fought gallantly to gain the upper hand. However, Orochi, protected by a mysterious power, was not easily bested. Shiranui, covered in gashes, majestic coat dyed crimson, stood exhausted before the mighty Orochi. Orochi saw a chance to strike what would be the final blow, but Shiranui refused to give in. With its last ounce of strength, the majestic wolf gazed heavenward and unleashed a mighty howl. Suddenly, the black clouds overhead dissipated. The light from above glinted off Nagai's sword as a beacon of hope. Guided by his sword, Nagai, who had been taking shelter in the shadows, stood proudly to face his adversary, channeling all his strength into his scarred and battered arms. He leapt ferociously towards Orochi, his sword poised high. The golden sword danced in his hands like a puppet on a string. One by one, Orochi's fearsome heads separated from their owner. Orochi's broken body collapsed in a lake of its own blood. In that instant, the curse that plagued the village was lifted. As the battle subsided, the sun shone once again in the sky. Shirnui had succumbed to Orochi's poison and struggled to breathe. Nagai scooped the beast into his arms and returned to Kamiki. When they reached the village, Shirnui was no longer moving. The village elder gently stroked the wolf's head. In response, Shirnui let out a hoarse, pitiful bark, then closed its eyes and drifted off as if into slumber. Peace had at last returned to Kamiki Village. In honor of Shirnui's heroic exploits, the villagers erected a shrine and placed a statue of the wolf within it. Nagai's sword was christened Tsukuyumi and placed inside the moon cave. The villagers all looked forward to an age of endless peace. However, this is not the end of the story. There is more to this tale than most people know. One hundred years had passed since Nagai and Shirinui's heroic exploits. It happened so quickly that no one in the village even took notice. This game is part of why I like wolves so much. Part of why my mascot is a wolf. Is this the legendary sword? Is this Tsukuyomi, the sword that banished the dreaded Orochi? Dot dot dot. No, it couldn't be. It's just a legend. Nothing but a fairy tale. He done goofed. <clears throat> oh, he who seeks power, he who has broken my bonds. Speak the words, I wish darkness unto the world. Utter that prayer unto me and unleash my power.
I can't see someone running away anymore ever since I played Kingdom Hearts 2 without thinking of the mix and the underworld going, RUN! RUN! Tragedy suddenly swept over the land. However, there was one village that seemed to escape the terrible curse. And the tiny settlement of Kamiki Village enjoyed the protection of a sacred tree. It is here that the real story begins. Sprite Sakura Sakuya. How troublesome! This is just like the ancient prophecy of doom! What has transpired to bring about such calamity? We must ask quickly! There is no time to lose! My power has diminished over the years I've spent protecting this area. I don't have much time left in this world. Amaterasu, now is the time. We have never needed you more. Never needed your power more. Shine your divine light upon this broken and polluted world. Let your heavenly rays become our hope as you guide us all. Okami, I'm a trustee. Ah, such divine white light, such beauty and grace. The only one capable of such a wondrous spectacle is none other than our mother and the origin of all that is, Amaterasu. Now, I don't agree with the mythology in this game, but it's a good story. And. Hello. I like playing as a wolf, what can I say? It's a fun game. How delightful to see that the savior whose brave sacrifice sealed away the evil demon so many years ago has not changed one bit. Seeing him emerge after so many years spent as a statue brings happiness to my heart. Sniff. <laughs> Amaterasu, gaze above you and take in the condition of the sky. Since your untimely departure from our mist, the world has succumbed to devious and vicious beasts. They have ravaged our fine and bountiful country of Nippon, but never have the circumstances been worse than they are at this very moment. Please, use your powers to banish the darkness and punish those who would do us harm. Hmm? Eh? What is this? Has something stolen its way into my robe? Phew! <laughs> <laughs> what on earth? You again! Oh. Ow, 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 ow! Are you nuts? Boy, for a little thing, you sure make a big fuss. I'm just trying to make the conversation a bit more interesting, that's all. Are you napping in my clothes again, Bug? Bug, I told you a thousand times not to call me that. I'm a wandering artist. The name's Ison. 
I'll show you just how great I am, and I won't be long till you're bowing before my great brush. <laughs> well, what do you think? Even cuter than the real thing, no? What's with you, furball? You look kind of down in the dumps. Actually, you look kind of familiar. Got it. You look just like that statue of Sharon Dewey. <laughs> oh, what do you think you're doing? Are you crazy? A handsome guy like me should never be covered in wolf's lobber. You'll regret messing with the great Dyson. Don't make me use my prize to wear Dinkle Morrow against you. What's that growling sound? And why is it so dark anyway? Oh, great god, I'm a Tarasu. I've used all the power I have to protect Kamiki Village. The village lives on. Their spirits lie encased in my fruit. Cut it free, and the village will be reborn. I trust in you. I know that you will lead us down the right path. Only your awesome power can restore life to the world. The trees return to normal, huh? That Sakua girl sure said some weird stuff. The villager spirits are become, being kept inside the fruit. That's the fruit. The, that girl said that. If you cut it down, the village will be restored. But it's awfully high up there. If you don't use some kind of special power, there's no way you're gonna reach it. This darkness is really getting to me too. A lot can happen while you're taking a nap. Alright. Uh. Alright. Let's try and remember all the controls. Where are we? Been a while since I've played on a PlayStation. It got awfully quiet all of a sudden. I don't remember any place like this in the village. Well, we better keep our eyes peeled. You can use the right analog stick to look around. The L1 button changes your point of view. Boy, you really look so helpless. You sure you're gonna be okay? Ah. I prefer this one. Hold on. That's an origin mirror. They say once your reflection appears on its surface, your memories will be stored in the mirror for all eternity. Well, to put it shortly, you can save your progress here. But make sure you have what you need to save your progress. I'm talking about a memory card. Silly. <laughs> Let me give you a little advice. You should save a number of game files. That way, you can always go back if you get stuck or something. Gotta be prepared, especially while you're still learning the ropes. I started playing it once, like... I don't know, a year or two ago, and I got quite far in it. I never finished it though, because I got, I don't know, my life's been busy the last several years, because you know, like work and trying to write and all that. And now YouTube and writing, so my life's really that much less busy and getting ready for school too, that too. Look at all those paws, just waiting to be broken. If you bust them, there might be something good inside. Press the square button to... Alright, I know that. I figured that out already. Way to go. You can do that anytime you see something you want to break.
I played this game so many times. Oh, hold on there. Blah, blah, blah. Gain up the high. I'll be a piece of cake. But make sure you press it firmly. I knew you could do it. You say good luck is found in high places. So keep your eyes peeled. We don't want to miss any treasure. Stores energy. Like I'm not I wouldn't be surprised if I was not exaggerating if I said that I played this game like at least fifty times through when I was a kid. Look, the bridge is out. This shouldn't be so hard. Um I'm a Tarasu, was it? That's kind of long. Mind if I call you Amy? Listen, Amy. Ever heard of the spirits of the brush? Good brushwork has its own soul. At least that's what they say. Just watch. It'd take all day to explain. The picture's worth a thousand words, right? Just a little technique I've mastered called rejuvenation. And it's one of many brush techniques that use divine power. It's a brush god power that can restore broken or missing things. And I practiced really hard just to master this one technique. There are 13. Each one is a power of one of the 13 brush gods. Originally, all 13 were a single powerful deity. When the deity died, its power was split into 13 separate gods. The gods now dwell within objects all around us, but I don't know God. How could anyone have the power to master all 13? The river of the heavens. They mean the fabled Stardust River? But I sure don't see anything like that around here. It couldn't be that little puddle over there, could it? As a matter of fact, it is. Gotta go up here. Wow, look at the stars twinkle. I haven't seen such a beautiful nighttime sky in ages. Hey, look. Are those stars forming a pattern or is it just me? Hmm, there's one missing. Guess I'll just have to draw the missing star. Bah. Looks like I'm just not ready to draw missing stars. I'm sure it's been a heck of a lot of time. And... No, wait, there we go. I missed. Well, it's no use just sitting around thinking about it. This time the Great Ice is going to put everything he has into it. <laughs> ah, I know it's the right way. I sure spent a heck of a lot of time practicing that. Ah, well, isn't it Mother Amaterasu? I apologize for not contacting you sooner during these long years. Having never forgotten you, I, Yomigami, God of Restoration, have eagerly waited this day when we could again meet. While you were away, the 13 spirits of the, the brush that you once possessed, including myself, have been scattered across this land of men and now lie in disarray. 
I became a constellation and managed to survive until now. The time has come for you to seek out and return, unite all the techniques. Your power is what is needed to restore the dried riverbed of the heavens and renew the flow of stardust. Wow, that was Yomigami, the god of rejuvenation. Wait, so you have the power of reju rejuvenation now? Can you really use it to restore the river of the heavens? That would mean you were as good with the brush as yours truly. Nah, it couldn't be true. Who else could master this incredible god technique? Move we'll over yourself there, Ison. Wonder if drawing some stardust would get the river flowing again. Nah, it's one thing to fix a bridge, but fixing a starry river? There's no way you could put up, pull off a stunt like that. Just watch me, Arson. Whoa! A river of stardust! So this really must be the river of the heavens. But what I really want to know is who the heck drew the darn thing? Oh, I said, you're so oblivious. Alright. Consumed apple. You consumed peach. You consumed orange. All right. Do do. Over the hills and through the woods to get a new power I go. Is this the legendary shrine? We must be in the cave of Nagai. The legendary hero Nagai is enshrined here. He vanquished evil 100 years ago with the help of the white wolf Shirinui. First the river of the heavens, now this place. Where the heck are we, furball? Boy, this place is a wreck. See, that sword's in a really bad shape. The god surely didn't do much to protect this place. That really was your brushwork all this time. How'd you get so good? Exactly who are you anyway? 
Hey, there's another constellation. This one looks like a mouse. Make good use of the sword, as it was designed to conquer evil. Hey, I was a god, Tachigami, master of the power slash technique. Wait a minute, if you're getting all these powers, and you're just like that sheer Nui. You know, the wolf who fought and died alongside the great Nagai? When Shere Nui died, the wolf's powers were split into the 13 brush gods. This is crazy. Shere Nui and Nagai? It's just like the legend. Well, anyway, I've seen this power slash technique myself. How about showing your stuff off down that boulder over there? Let me see you slice it in half by drawing a single line. I won't believe it till I see it. Wow, I didn't think you had it in you, Furball. I'm not even in the same league as you. Guess I really overestimated myself. You think, Ison? Come on. Hey, Furball. Er, I mean, I'm a Tarasu. I've made up my mind. If you're sure you know where you're born, that means you can master all 13 techniques, right? In that case, I think I'll tag along until I'm as good as you. Lucky you. <laughs> it's no use to try and change my mind. There's no stopping me once I've made a decision. But enough about me. Now that you've mastered the power slash, you can cut down that thing Sakyo I was talking about. Let's go back and give it a shot. Come on. Ah. I forgot about this. What the? Where'd they come from? Ah, uh, whatever. Draw first, ask questions later, right? You know that divine instrument you have on your back? Well, press the square button to use it. Get some. Okay, me. Once you cut them off guard and turn them black and white, they're easy prey for your brush, no matter how nasty they are. Grab your brush and give them power slash. I love how you leave a trail of flowers and everything whenever you're in. So pretty. Oh, another one. Can I get a demon thing from you? Yes, I can. So I'm gonna need those later. The 
only top place in the game where um, you can swim without drowning. Alright. I'm actually going to leave the episode off here. I'll pick it up again in the next one. So I'm going to save. Do, 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 do. And leave it off here. In the meantime, thank you guys so much for watching. Like and subscribe down below if you want to see more. Let me know what you think, guys think in the comment section. Whether you, you guys like this game, whether you are, you've ever even heard of this game. What you guys think about it? You guys are excited to get into it as I am? Because, well, I played it a lot. It's, it has been a long time where, since I played through it, it the whole way through. And it's not, it obviously hasn't been as long since I played the game. But it's been long enough that it still feels fresh to me again right now. Which is what I love about this game. It's so long and arduous. It's such a long and arduous journey that by the time you finish it, if you go back and start playing it again, it'll still feel fairly fresh. And if you put a long time span between that, it'll feel fresh again by the time you get to it. At least that, that's the way it is for me anyway. It might not be that way for everybody, but it is the way, way it is for me. I love it. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. In the meantime, don't forget, keep it real and spread the love. Bye-bye.